hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we will be doing a let's play sort of let's play world of tanks of the m48a2 roin panza it's exactly what it sounds like it's a tier 8 premium and it's an m48a2 at tier 8 with a 90 millimeter so what else is there to ask pretty much right okay so let's go jump into gameplay Alright, so now we are here in the gameplay on Kharkov, which I believe they brought this map back, actually? Yeah, they brought this one back. Anyway, about this M48. Um, it's, it's rather slow, and it has a big bulldozer blade on the front, as you can see right there. You're wondering, is this the best rammer in World of Tanks? Well, no, it's not. The bulldozer boy does act does act as extra armor on top of your already tier ten armor at tier eight. So oh, can I get a shot at this guy? No, I can't. Oh, there's super Persian down there. Gonna take a shot at him. Nice. I connect the shot. Track him up. So yes, as you can hear by the voiceovers, this tank is in the German tech tree, or premium tech tree, whatever you call it. But um, this tank does have the one giant weak point on the top, so that's... You need to figure out, sort of, how to keep your enemies from shooting it. So this tank is also really great side scraping around left hand corners. Not so good side scraping around the right, because then they could just shoot your commander's cupola on top. And positions like right here, where this guy can just pop out and shoot me, or in my cupola before I can shoot him. That's not that great. So, with your M48 armor, and the sort of like boat shaped of the hull, you can over angle against many um, enemy tanks, and they shouldn't go through. Which is very nice. Oh, here comes the Tiger 2. There we go. So a lot of the time I find myself shooting premium rounds in this tank because this 90mm seems a little bit underpowered for a tier 8 medium. But, with this insane armor, and as you can see he just shot me in the commander's cupola. Um sometimes doesn't work out so well. I think I'm about to be flanked. Okay, I'm just gonna load gold as you can see. In this tank you really have to load the gold to actually do something. Ooh, ricochet off his cupola again. It's not that good. Scorpion G! Oh, he, tr oh, he hit my track. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of me here, obviously. I forgot to mention that with this tank, you kinda need to have some support. You need to- you can't fight them by your own. You are way too undergunned to fight them on your own. You need some sort of heavy tanks or other mediums to help you fighting your enemies because or else that will happen to you. Alright, so for our second dosage of World of Tanks gameplay for today, I am in the same tank on Erlenberg and it's a tier 9 matchup which, eh, for this tank. I mean, the gun. It's just the bad thing about this tank is the gun, it's mobility, but... I mean, you're also watching me play this, and as you know, I'm very crappy at playing tanks. Oof. As you can see. As of that. That's why I'm very crappy at playing more tanks.
Okay, there's a lot of people already, and I haven't even gotten in position. Oh, what? No. I'm in a bad spot already. Oh, no. I'm 46. Oh, my God. Alright, so the new title for this video, How to Suck at World of Tanks. Definitely how to suck at World of Tanks. Okay, so I've just been absolutely murdered. I'm gonna try shooting this 53 TP, but I'm pretty pinned down right now. That IS-3 has to go kill that guy before I can push up, but I'm not even sure if I could push up because then they could get shots from the hill up there. It's all gone wrong. Like that, aha, Serum 46. Hello. Oh. Um. Right. So. Um. End of the video. Bye.